Welcome everyone. I'm just going to wait a few moments as the uh, rest of the participants start to join us and then we'll get started with the uh, eBay new seller webinar. All right, so it looks like we've got quite a few participants in uh, in the Zoom chat now, so I might get started. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Jeremy Naiman, and I head up the seller experience and operations team here at eBay. I just want to say a huge thanks to all of you for uh, joining today. I know many of you, uh, small businesses, uh, you know, large businesses, very busy. So it's great that you've been able to uh, spend the time with us over the next 45 minutes to an hour as we take you through uh, a whole range of different things, including market analysis, the, the eBay uh, business in general, uh, as well as tips and tricks to maximize your business and grow sales uh, across eBay. Now, luckily enough, I'm not here on my own. I do have Rachel from our seller marketing team and Sanjana, uh, from our channel partnerships and integrations part of the business and they'll be helping me answer questions as we go along through the webinar So, you know, feel free to submit any questions you've got through the chat functionality uh, And as we get towards the end, we'll definitely take some of those questions But also, uh, you know, don't be afraid if we don't answer any questions because we're actually recording this webinar and we'll be sending this around uh, in a in a pack later on uh, along with uh, further links to everything that's being presented and also an email address where you can submit more questions. So looking at the agenda today, we're going to cover the current e-commerce landscape in Australia. I'll touch on eBay and, and the way that you can scale through the eBay platform. Some really good tips and tricks on how you can grow your business on eBay, including a lot of great performance tools and then optimizing uh, for success. And then we'll jump into, uh, into some questions. So it'd be remiss of me if I didn't cover off the, the current landscape when it comes to e-commerce in Australia. And I think many of you would know and, and have, have potentially been impacted, particularly over the last you know, 12 to 24 months around many of the, the, uh, the challenges that Australia has had. You know, we've gone through, you know, many of our regional and rural communities have gone through droughts. We've had bushfires, floods, and of course, more recently, the COVID-19 challenges. And, you know, we've seen that impact many of our uh, sellers that are on the eBay platform. And we've spoken to uh, retailers that have had to close their physical stores over recent months. Uh, and have moved their businesses online and, and onto eBay. And, you know, we, we are here to help support businesses continue to grow and trade in this changing landscape. So if we have a look at some of the, the trends, uh, if I look at 2019, e-commerce revenue was around $29.5 billion. Now that represented about 11% of the total retail spend in Australia. We saw online purchasing grow 21%, but really the recent events, and you know, as I've mentioned, COVID-19 in particular has accelerated the online spend. You know, we've seen year on year growth of 80% from the period of March to May. And the week after Easter was the, the biggest ever with 135% year on year growth in online purchasing. So we can see that there's this real acceleration of consumers to online and more so accelerated due to the events that have happened recently. I think this graph really sums it up well. And as mentioned, you know, we, we at eBay, have, we, we've sort of seen the, the, the COVID challenges happen probably over two phases. There was the, the lockdown where physical uh, stores, shops, restaurants, et cetera, were closed down. And there was this flight to online where consumers were purchasing you know, their essential items online through marketplaces like eBay, 
um, all the way through to, to other products as the months went on. But then the second phase, we, we feel that this will be a permanent shift towards online as consumers have changed their behaviors towards buying online. And you can see that represented here. You're talking, you know, uh, average year on year growth uh, of around 15%, which is now accelerated to 35 to 40% as of March this year. And we believe that will continue uh, as we get more data from the previous months. And there's been a shift to domestic sellers. More and more consumers are buying from local sellers, local retailers here in Australia. And, and that spike is really evident as you can see in March. But what we've also seen is that the categories across eBay have seen growth across the board. Now there was many different phases that we went through and we're still going through as we, as we sort of traverse the COVID-19 challenges and we get to a state of, of a new normal. And as you can see, there was different phases where initially there was healthcare prep and we, you know, we saw some really big spikes in uh, sales in the healthcare categories, masks, sanitizers, etc. Then going through the next phase, which was pantry prep, and obviously, you know, toilet paper and those essentials, through to everyone getting used to quarantine living and living at home. So work from home products, desks, monitors, etc. through to moving into that restricted living phase where they're looking at fitness equipment and entertainment. But as you can see from point five, living the new normal, what we've actually seen is that 89% of eBay categories have shown 10% year on year growth. So the, the, the growth isn't centralized to one or two categories. It's actually across the board, uh, which is, you know, which opens up opportunity for many of you that are either have just started your business or, you know, some of you might be six to 12 months into your business. This gives you really good insight in terms of the growth that is coming and is happening on the platform. But what does it mean for you um, as, as a business out there? So one, online retail spend in AU is accelerating and it's accelerating fast. You know, purchasing behavior we believe has changed permanently as people get used to transacting online and consumers get more comfortable with transacting online. Consumers are spending more with Australian businesses and the time is now right when you look at those factors to either start or continue an online retail business and take advantage of these changing market conditions. So we've spoken a little bit about the market. Now I'd like to touch on, on eBay. So eBay has been, you know, a, 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 in the Australian market, in the Australian e-commerce market for around 20 years now. And traditionally we started as a, consumer to consumer auction marketplace, you know, way back 20 years ago. More recently, however, we've moved to a platform that allows, uh, you know, businesses of, of any size to trade on the platform. You know, we connect millions of consumers to those businesses and, uh, you know, 93% of the products sold now on eBay are new. So we you know, we've really moved away from uh, that, op that sort of C to C auction marketplace. We often, uh, we often refer to ourselves as the Westfield of online, right? Where we provide a platform where, you know, sellers and retailers and merchants can come and sell their products and connect with, you know, millions of buyers each month. And one really interesting stat that uh, we found through the Australia Post e-commerce report, uh, this was back in the 2018 report, is that 49% uh, of Australian consumers actually start their product search uh, on a marketplace like eBay. So, you know, that's phenomenal when you think about the, the dominance that Google has in terms of the search space. Uh, but when people are actually looking for products, they're, they're coming to a marketplace like eBay to find those products. So again, a really good opportunity for you to get your business and your products in front of these consumers. Pierre Midier is eBay's founder and, and uh, he came up with this quote, which resonates really nicely. And it's, uh, you know, what makes eBay successful? It's the real value and the real power at eBay is the community. And it's the buyers and sellers coming together to form a marketplace. And that's exactly what we are, right? We're a marketplace connecting buyers and sellers like yourself. We don't hold stock or we don't sell our own products. 
We're the number one most visited retail site in Australia and the number fifth most visited website in Australia overall. So what this means is there's huge amount of traffic, huge amount of uh, eyeballs and a, and a huge amount of uh, consumers coming to the platform each and every month looking for your products. So every month there's 11 million unique monthly visitors coming to the platform. As mentioned, 93% of the products are, are brand new. Now the benefit of eBay is that it's a global plat platform. And what that means is that we've got 174 million active buyers globally that have purchased something in the last 12 months. So as a business in Australia, you can actually set yourself up on ebay.com.au, but also become a global business and, you know, and reach this global audience that we've got access to. And of course, you know, mobile first, 70% of our traffic is from mobile. And you know, we've spent a lot of time and resource in making sure that the mobile experience, both MWeb and app, is uh, conducive to driving really good conversion uh, on our sellers' products and also a great buying experience for our consumers. We make it easy to integrate as well. Uh, and some of you may already be on some of these platforms such as BigCommerce, Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, uh, or maybe coming direct to eBay and setting up a store directly on eBay. But either way, there is an option uh, to leverage integration partners to help streamline your business operations. Uh, and at eBay, we've got a team that helps support with this and a, and a lot of information that we'll share post this webinar where we can give you more guidance on how this can happen. But this just allows you to connect, you know, a, a site that you've already got set up, whether it's through a big commerce or a Shopify, directly to eBay, syncing your products, postage, pricing, et cetera, and making it an easy way to scale your business directly onto eBay and to tap into those 11 million unique visitors every month. All right, so we've spoken a little bit about the market, uh, the Australian e-commerce market. I've spent a little bit of time talking about eBay and, and some of the data points around that, but now I wanna get into uh, the tips and tricks and the tools that you can use to really drive success with your eBay store. And so we'll start with creating the perfect listing. Four main ingredients for a perfect listing, and that's being title, description, photos, and item specific. So let's dig into each of these in a bit more detail. So listing title. So title can be up to 80 characters. And it should really include a brief statement of what you're selling, uh, details around the brand and the size or the model of the product that you're selling, and keywords that buyers are likely to search uh, when they're coming to eBay and using the search functionality. What we recommend that you don't include is exclamation marks, um, acronyms, nicknames, or terms that buyers won't use on the platform. Uh, and also email, you know, removing email addresses and phone numbers, any, any false brand names. This just impacts the, the ability for people to find your products on eBay. So next is the listing description. So obviously a really clear, compelling description is, is, uh, is optimum in terms of driving you know, solid conversion rates and, and getting those sales up uh, on your store. So we recommend you know, segmenting uh, each of the components with, with headings, bold subheadings, bullet points, really covering off the key selling points. So what does it do? Uh, you know, why would a buyer want it? How do they use it? What's included with that particular product? But really steer clear of including information around uh, you know, item specifics or, or, or really detailed attributes, postage and returns, uh, any JavaScript or active content which we don't allow on the, uh, on the listing descriptions, um, and any other small print that might confuse the buyers. There's, there's spaces within the listing template to include a lot of these uh, criteria, including postage and return details and item specifics. So, leave the description just to clearly articulating what the product's about uh, and the rest can follow through in the rest of the listing template. Photos, a really critical element to helping you drive conversion and, uh, and, and getting those sales through your eBay store. You know, pictures tell a thousand words uh, and it's, it's best practice to maximize this as best you can. And so we recommend a plain background for starters. So either white or a neutral color to really showcase the item. 
you know, taking photos in high resolution with auto zoom is also ideal. As they're uploaded into eBay, it'll auto zoom within the platform and ensure that it retains that, uh, that quality that you need. Uh, take photos of the real item. So if you've got a secondhand item or, or something that, you know, uh, may be damaged or, or the box isn't quite right, you know, take plenty of photos and make sure that you're highlighting those elements. Buyers really love that and it helps, uh, you know, ensure that you're getting the right buyers for those uh, particular products. Take close-ups where you can, you know, people buying really love detail. So take as many close-ups as you can of all angles of the product. No overlay text as we've shown in this example at the bottom here. Uh, it, it's, it's messy and it takes the buyer away from what the actual product is. All of that information that's in that overlay text can be captured in the description or the listing template itself. And you've got up to 12 free photos and that's per, uh, per item variation. So we recommend maximizing those 12 photos uh, to take as many shots as you can of the product because it's a real surefire way for the buyer to know that they're getting what they wanted. Item specific, so as briefly mentioned before, these uh, are situated within the listing template itself. And these are uh, uh, codes, model numbers, um, anything specific to a particular product around brand um, and, and sort of features that we recommend that you insert into your listings. The main reasons for this are listed here. So search visibility is one. You know, the eBay platform is really there to connect buyers with sellers. So having this information will ensure that as a buyer is doing a search on the platform, they're being connected with the product that's relevant to them and helping with that search visibility and search ranking. As mentioned, it then allows the right buyer to find the right product for them because at times they will search a model code or a particular brand or, or even UPC or unique product code. It also helps with filtered search. So as people are going through and selecting advanced search, uh, they, might, uh, they might put specific uh, codes in there. It helps them find their product quicker. The biggest, uh, one of the biggest benefits though of item specifics is the, the benefit that it brings in terms of the marketing that eBay do. So eBay spends a lot, of, a lot of money every year running Google paid ad campaigns. Uh, and having item specifics in your items uh, allows your products to have a better chance to be featured within that paid marketing. So essentially featuring your products off eBay uh, in the Google environment, in the Google shopping environment, and then bringing them back to your store. So another real critical reason why item specifics are so important. And of course, it creates a great buyer experience uh, and a, be a better buying experience means better conversion rates and better sales for your store. Providing a great buying experience is, is critical. And there's a few ways that you can do this. So what we recommend is free and fast shipping within two to five days. When we look at consumer research, you know, in the top three requirements when it comes to online purchasing is fast shipping, uh, is selection, uh, and, and free shipping to a certain extent. So free and fast shipping is critical. We really recommend that. Offering an express shipping option as well within one to three days. You know, buyers are really moving more towards wanting products fast. Uh, so offering this is, is key. Now we know that this may not be possible all the time and the eBay uh, rate tape, postage rate tables uh, help um, guide you on what can be done. We've got over a hundred zones and it can be done at a product level. So you don't need to offer this across all of your products. It can be done at an individual product level where you think you have got the ability, whether it may be uh, margin or just in your business processes to be able to do free and fast and express shipping. We always recommend handling time either same day or next day uh, to create that really fast streamlined postage experience for buyers. Again, this can be um, calibrated based on product as we know that this may not be possible each and every time. And it can also be changed during times of, you know, peak, uh, peak season if you need extra time. Uh, or of course, during the recent COVID events, we've also seen that uh, fluctuation in handling time. Uh, but be best practice we recommend same day or next day. 
Uploading tracking is an important one. Where possible, we really recommend uploading tracking. And the reason for this is that it creates a great buyer experience. They're able to track their parcel all the way from the time that you've sent it to the time it reaches their home, minimizing the number of questions uh, and claims that may be raised against you in terms of not receiving items. It allows the, the buyer to track that all the way through themselves. And finally there, we've got 30 day returns. So offering 30, re 30 day returns gives the buyer confidence that they can return that item if they need to through fault or, or through change of mind. Finally, the, the last point I'd leave you on on this particular piece is also customer service and getting back to inquiries as quickly as we can. Best practice we recommend within 24 to 48 hours just to create that really good experience for the buyer and ensure that you're capturing sales at the time that you know a buyer's looking to, to make it. All right, so we've touched on some of the, the best practice uh, and, and tools and, and, and tricks around listing and uh, you know photos uh, and best practice around buyer support. I'm gonna take you through some tools that can help you grow your business and further scale your business on the platform. So first of all, we've got the seller hub. And so some of you may be familiar with this and maybe using it already, but Seller Hub is a great way to uh, monitor and obviously manage all of your listings. It allows you to have a centralized view across all of your orders, uh, manage posting and postage and tracking directly within the platform, and also gives a whole range of personalized insights and, and reports that you need to manage your business effectively. So the aim is that eBay's giving you all the tools within this Seller Hub environment to run your business end to end. There's also performance tabs and marketing tabs there, which help, uh, help you tap into some of the advertising and marketing opportunities to further, uh, further reach more buyers and further scale your business as well. And we'll go into that in a little bit more shortly. So promotional tools, we, we think are a great way for you to really scale your business on eBay. First of all, Promotions Manager is a promotional postage, uh, is a promotional tool that allows you to add discounts, um, promotional postage options, coupons or vouchers, similar to what you'd potentially offer in a, in, you know, in a physical retail store, and any markdowns that you're wishing, you know, you're wanting to do on your products. So it's a really great way to do, uh, you know, really good promotions, either on single items or multiple items, and all of that can be managed directly through Seller Hub. Promoted listings is another great way to gain further exposure for your products. So promoted listings is really a sponsored listing tool that allows you to boost your products across, uh, across the eBay platform. So we've got placements, uh, you know, not, not just within the search result page, but across sort of 40 to 50 different placements across eBay. Uh, and what this allows you to do is select incremental um, ad rate percentages that you're willing to pay to further boost your product and get the increased eyeballs and increased sales that you, uh, that you need. The best thing about promoted listings is that it's, a, it's a, um, a tool that you only pay for when you make a sale. So you only pay that percentage when you actually sell an item, meaning it allows you to control the return on investment that you're putting into that particular tool. And the best thing about it is that it can be done through Seller Hub and the, and the Promoted Listings Dashboard. Uh, and we also give you recommendations in terms of ad rates uh, and uh, easy ways to download those listings in order to re-upload and promote those listings across, as I said, those 40 to 50 different placements. So another really great tool. And then volume discounts is another way that you can drive velocity and sales. So essentially, the more that your buyers purchase, you can uh, give them discounts on, on those products. So buy one for 10, you know, two for 15, for example. Uh, and it's a really good way to generate velocity and uh, increase the sales across your store. Reporting and insights is another area that can be found within Seller Hub. And we really recommend um, using the, the information and data that you can find within this platform. So there's a few different areas that we cover off in the research tab. And one of the key ones is being uh, Terapeak product research. And essentially this is a tool that analyzes millions of listings across the, the global marketplace, the global eBay marketplace, 
and then gives you information around sales data, average sold pricing, uh, shipping cost, what buyers are searching for, a, a lot of really good information that can help go into how you structure your listings and the pricing that you set for those particular products. There's also sourcing guidance and listing improvement recommendations housed within this area as well. So another great way to sort of tap into the insights and the data that eBay's got uh, to then you know, help you and guide you when it comes to listing your products. So postage and fulfillment is another key area when it comes to selling online and of course on, on eBay as well. So we've got the postage labels platform, which is directly integrated into eBay. And this is basically an option where you can choose between say Sendall or Australia Post and prepay uh, postage for multiple items at once with a bulk label printing feature. Uh, so what that means is if you've got just a, a standard printer or a labels printer, you can manage all of the uh, shipping labels in bulk directly through the labels platform. Uh, and, and also allows you to pay for those labels directly through the eBay platform. Uh, also saving up to 46% on prepaid postage. So it's a really great way, again, to manage your full end-to-end -end business across the eBay platform, you know, leveraging this tool. Outsource fulfillment and third-party logistics. Uh, some of you may be using this already, uh, but this is an option if you're looking to move away or, or not wanting to warehouse your own products. So we have a partnership with Fulfilio and basically what they do is help to uh, manage the warehousing, the pick pack and delivery of your products. So that means that you don't need to, you know, have a warehouse, store your products. It can all be done through the Fulfilio warehousing system. Uh, and with warehouses across the country, um, including Perth, it's a really great way to ensure that your products are reaching consumers fast and within those sort of delivery timeframes that we recommended earlier on. Uh, what's more, there's also some really great savings through that particular platform uh, and just makes it easy for you to manage your orders if you don't wanna have that warehouse or manage stock yourself. So we've covered off the eBay uh, marketplace in general, um, the e-commerce market, best practice in terms of uh, listing your products as well as tools and tips and tricks. I wanted to share a little bit more around how eBay is evolving. Uh, now there's a few areas uh, and, and more recently which have really kicked off in, in, uh, in how we're uh, moving our business forward. And one of those is eBay Plus, which, which some of you may be familiar with. eBay Plus is our loyalty program, which gives our buyers fast and free delivery and returns across you know, millions of items across the platform. But what it also means for sellers that have the eBay Plus badging is that they get uh, the potential for increased sales and increased conversion rate. Because with the eBay Plus badge, you're signaling that, uh, you know, your products offer that really fast shipping experience, the zero to one day handling time, and of course, returns. And what we've seen is that sellers uh, on average have seen around 16% uplift in sales when they've had the eBay, eBay Plus badging. Uh, so that's another great way uh, for you to further scale and, and grow your business on the platform by adhering to those retail standards uh, and increasing sales. More recently, Afterpay has joined the platform. So this is great for buyers as it gives them another option in how they pay for their products when they purchase on eBay. And obviously it's the buy now, pay later option. Uh, but the benefit to sellers is it's no cost. So as a, as a merchant traditionally who would offer Afterpay on your own website, you would have to pay for that service uh, on eBay, that's not applicable. eBay covers that cost, which means an extra uh, payment option for buyers, which, uh, which you don't need to worry about. More recently, we, as well, we partnered with House Rules, and this is great because where we're sort of showing Aussie shoppers that you can find everything you need for your home uh, on eBay. And later this year, we've got eBay Managed Payments launching, and this is a new, uh, a new payments intermediary system that eBay is managing. Uh, and what this means is that we're gonna open up more payment options for our, for our buyers. So things like Google Pay and Apple Pay. So giving them more choice in how they pay their products, therefore increasing the chance of conversion on, you know, on your stores. It also simplifies, simplifies the fee structure for our retailers and sellers like yourself and just creates a more streamlined operation in the back end as well. 
So we, we've covered quite a bit there. Uh, what I wanted to uh, leave you with before we sort of jump into questions is, is a really interesting seller story uh, that we've uh, that we've got, and it's actually hosted on our seller center. Uh, we'll send links to everything that we've shared today, including these seller stories. But this one resonates really well with me, so I thought I'd share it today, um, just for a little bit of inspiration, I guess, to those particularly who are just starting out on eBay. Um, so the Gamesman is a business that's been on eBay since uh, 2011. They started way back in the early uh, yeah, it was 1980, early 1982, I think they started. Uh, by selling games, gaming consoles, you know, Nintendos, et cetera, at, uh, at local markets. Um, but they saw a real opportunity for selling those products on eBay uh, and really started a, a, you know, a proper business on the platform in 2011. And it's, it's run by a person called Daniel Cosimano and his brother and sister. Now, their father started the business back in the 80s, selling at the market stalls had a bricks and mortar and still have a bricks and mortar physical presence in, in Punch Bowl in New South Wales, but really saw the opportunity for online back in 2011. And so when they first started the, the business uh, in 2011, I think within that first year, they sold 250 products um, across their store. But when we checked in last year, so for all of 2019, that had increased to 250,000 products that they're selling a year. So significant growth and a really good story of, of a family business starting small and really progressing through the benefit of running on, on, on a marketplace such as eBay. When we spoke to Daniel about his success and, and his kind of guidance, I guess, for other sellers, you know, he said, you don't necessarily need to have the cheapest product on eBay. You just need to offer really good service, you know, really good customer service, good postage op options, fast postage, uh, and a great product. And, and that's the key to success. So I thought that was you know, a really good story to share. We've got a few more of those on the Seller Center, which we'll, uh, we'll, we'll share a link for um, after the webinar. So before we move on to questions, uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will have another webinar on the 25th of June, uh, so two weeks from now. Uh, and this will touch on um, supercharging your business and a lot of other growth and promotional ways that you can grow your business. So today we really focused on uh, you know, the, the basics of listing on eBay and some of the tools and tips and tricks there. Uh, but in two weeks time, we'll go through how you can really further scale and grow your business and, and supercharge it on eBay. And so after this, we'll share all of this detail, uh, including a link to this webinar. Um, and now we'll jump into to some questions. But as I mentioned before, we'll answer a few questions uh, now. Uh, and I believe uh, Ra Rachel and Sajana will answer some through the chat as well. Um, and then uh, any that we don't get to, we'll, we'll follow up after this. Uh, and there'll also be an email link where you can uh, submit questions that way as well. So don't be afraid if we don't answer your questions directly now. So I'll uh, stop sharing and we'll go through into the questions. All right. Okay, guys, I'm just going through the chat window. And even though I've got glasses, it is quite small. So bear with me a moment as we go through. Okay, so I can see I can see that there's a few questions coming through around integrating. Um, so those people that have a Shopify store already. Yeah, so I've migrated. So I've got one here, which is I've migrated our seller account across to an eBay store. Is it possible, is it possible to integrate Shopify into an existing website? So yes, we can, we can do that. And that's through all the, um, the free integration plugin tools that are uh, available across platforms such as Shopify and big commerce. Uh, but what we'll do after this is ensure that we share those, uh, those links to all the help documentation around how you can do that. Uh, another question we've got is, I don't yet have a store, but I have an eBay account. What's the best way to start a store? So 
That's a really good question. Is it, there, is, there is a couple of ways uh, to do that. You can convert your current personal account to a business account if you want to go that, down that path and, and start a business. Um, and that can be done within the, um, the settings uh, in your uh, My eBay section of eBay when you log in. Alternatively, if you want to keep it separate, you can, you can go and, and register for a complete new business account. So that is also um, possible. And we'll share some more detail around that as well. Uh, there's a question here around how much is a joining fee and the fee for each plan? So again, we'll, we'll send this through post the webinar because it does vary depending on the, the level of subscription and plan that you're looking at. Um, and of course there's, uh, we, you know, eBay charge fees or final value fees, depending on the category that you sell in. So it does vary, but we do have a great section, you know, which outlines all of our fees within the seller center. So we'll make sure that we share that uh, post uh, this webinar. Does eBay provide a fulfillment service? So I briefly touched on that when I was talking through the fulfillment and 3PL information. So we've got a partnership with Fulfilio uh, to help provide those fulfillment services. It's obviously not managed by eBay, uh, but it is a partnership which sellers like yourself can benefit from. So we'll make sure that, again, that information is shared in the, in the wrap up uh, information that we send post the webinar. All right, some plenty of great, great questions coming through. Okay, so there's one here, which is, uh, I think from, from Nicholas, thanks Nicholas, what are the advantages, advantages of setting up an eBay store? Uh, so if I sort of read into that question a little bit more, I, I guess the advantages of uh, setting up a, an eBay store subscription versus just, just selling. Uh, you know, as mentioned, there's different uh, levels of store subscription tiers, which give you uh, better access to um, the number of listings that you can list on eBay, but also fee discounts as you go through those different tiers. Uh, so it really depends on your needs as a business, how many products you're looking to list and what you want to get out of the store. Uh, but the, the benefits of a subscription is getting access to that better tiered pricing as well as features, including increased um, listing ability. Uh, so again, we'll, we'll share all of that. Uh, and again, it's all available on the seller center as well. Okay. So again, a few more questions coming through about integrations and, and particularly with Nito. So I think we'll address those uh, in the post follow-up. Okay, there's one here. Uh, how do we contact the support team in Australia? We have some questions around charges, et cetera. So again, we've got a really good um, seller help section on the seller center, uh, which is a live chat, chat functionality. So you can jump on there and uh, essentially submit your questions directly through the live chat. As long as you've got your eBay user ID details there, they can look into your, uh, into your account and help you with those, uh, with those questions there and then. Okay, so there's some uh, another question here. I see that we're getting quite a bit around the integration uh, partners such as as Nito, uh, and, and and sort of sharing a bit more around the Nito details. So uh, what we'll do is we'll wrap all that up after this. Uh, there's a lot of great information on the seller center, so we'll we'll share that post this because I I think uh, there's there's quite a few questions centered around that and around all the different ways that you can link your store into eBay. So we'll make sure that we cover that off. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Yep, so there's one and, I, and we might make this the last one. And then what we'll do is we will take the rest of the questions and ensure that we cover them off uh, when we send out the, the, the webinar pack. So this one is, 
Um, can I please ask, as a small business owner selling on eBay and competing with larger companies, I find that our listings are not in the first pages when customers search our products. So look, hopefully, you know, we've, um, we've covered this off through some of the best practices that I share, just in terms of, uh, you know, listing, title, description, item specifics, uh, ensuring you get all the best practice there implemented and, and correct. And obviously, you know, competitive Pricing and shipping plays into this as well. So I think it'd be great if you, you know, if you can sort of delve into the information that we've shared, try some of those tips and tricks that we've shared. Um, but, you know, as mentioned, there's, uh, you know, a whole range of different buyers on the eBay platform there, you know, there is someone there, you know, for everyone and for all our businesses. So, you know, have a look at some of those best practices that we shared today. Uh, and we'd hope that you'd be able to, in, you know, improve those um, those search results. Okay. All right. I'll take I'll take one more because there's a lot coming through, and I'd, I'd love to get through to as many as I can. So there's there's one here where uh, Pete has said we don't have a website, um, and that's okay. You don't need a website to set up on eBay. Uh, you can do it directly through the eBay platform. Uh, and so it's as, as simple as registering a business account and then going through the steps of, of listing a product directly on, on eBay itself. So you don't need to have a website. It can all be done uh, through eBay. Uh, you can have, um, you know, your, your store name, imagery, logo. So it becomes a mini store within the marketplace experience, but you don't actually need to have another e-commerce store. To, um, to set up on eBay. Okay, there's a question from Ellie. Thanks, Ellie, you spoke about promotion. What is the best timing to run promotions on eBay? So that one is really dependent on the products that you're selling and the time of year uh, as well and, and the seasonal events that are happening. So that one is, you know, without knowing, I guess, what you're selling and, and the sort of products that you're in, it's difficult to give you a, a direct answer on that, but generally what we see is that our peak selling times on eBay holistically, uh, the periods through May and June, particularly with end of financial year, uh, and, and particularly this month as we're running a lot of eBay plus activity, which is also spurring on some really good sales. Uh, that's, um, that's a really strong time of year. And of course, the November through to December period as we come into, uh, as we come into the Christmas period. So a really good way to, you know, to further kind of promote uh, and, and increase, you know, your sales during those times. But to be honest, uh, you know, depending on your products, there could be other seasonal moments in which we'd recommend, you know, you promoting your products. Uh, and we've actually got a deals uh, team within eBay here that can, uh, where you can sort of submit deals uh, through the platform if you want to get them featured across across eBay as well. So, uh, you know, without knowing the products, it's, it's hard to say, but there, there could be multiple times throughout the year and in particular end of financial year and Christmas uh, are, are key as well. All right, we'll keep going through some of these because there's more and more coming through. So there's one which is, if I don't have a business, I just want to sell some small products, do I have to create the business account or can I just use my normal shopping account? So you can use your normal account, absolutely. Uh, if you want to take advantage of, of the, the store features, such as increased listing counts and stuff like that, then we'd recommend going down a business account. But if you're only selling small products and only a few of them, you can absolutely do that, do that through your uh, current uh, account. Okay, there's another one from uh, Anonymous, I think. What software do you recommend in helping us find the trendy products in the Australian market? Uh, we might come back to that one. It is a really good question. There's a lot of information that you can get through, uh, through eBay's Seller Hub and the Terrapeak tool that I mentioned, um, but there are other tools out there and, and we can come back to that with, um, with those tools specifically. All right. Okay. Well, I think I think we've answered the majority of the questions that have come through Q and A at this stage. And I apologise if we haven't answered those. 
Um, and I know that, uh, I believe that uh, Rachel and Sanjana have also answered some as well. So what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll take these questions uh, and then make sure that we cover them off and, and have an FAQ document or something like that uh, post the webinar. Um, but I think we've covered most of the ones that have come through. Again, I apologize if I haven't. Uh, we just wanna say you know, a, a huge thank you for joining us today. Uh, I know that taking time out of your busy day can be challenging, but we really hope that we've, you know, we've helped you with your eBay business uh, and you've learned something here that can help further grow and scale your business on the eBay platform. Again, we're gonna have another webinar in two weeks time to talk more about how you can scale further and really dig into some of those tools I mentioned like promoted listings. So we'd love to see you all there. Um, and again, you know, a post webinar pack will follow this with a link to this, uh, to this webinar video, but also an email address uh, where you can submit more questions. So please, if we didn't get to your question today, uh, definitely submit a question through that email address. And if you need any further help, the seller center on eBay is fantastic. Uh, and there is the seller help functionality there as well, if you need to speak to someone through live chat. So once again, thank you from myself, Rachel and Sajana, and we hope to see you in a couple of weeks for our next webinar.